Bay Susie has been chosen to perform the theme song for the upcoming girl group survival show by JTBC called Are You Next? The show is an audition program where participants will compete for the opportunity to debut in a new girl group under Belift Lab. On June 9, JTBC and Belift Lab made an announcement stating that Susie will be singing the theme song titled With Full Speed for the Survival Program. The song With Full Speed will represent the concept of the show and the determined mindset that the contestants of Are You Next? should embrace as they move forward. This release marks Susie's first music venture since her self-composed digital single Cape, which was released in October. Currently, Susie is also set to appear in the original Netflix series called Duna and the upcoming movie Wonderland. Astros Cha Enwu and actress Song Haikyo were spotted together at the high-end gala dinner for the French watch and jewelry brand Chomet. The Chomet gala dinner in Paris was one for the Hallyu fans as two supreme-looking artists made their way stealing all the attention. Right from his departure from the Incheon International Airport, all eyes were on K-pop idol and actor Cha Enwu, who posed long hair and a new look mesmerizing the audiences with his charm. The Glory Star song Haikyo was not too far behind with her own fan craze. Fans could not get enough of the beauty that Cha Enwu and Song Haikyo brought in with their looks as they were snapped together. Well known all over the world for their undeniably enchanting visuals, a combined frame of the two had fans calling them real-life royals with the attention they demanded at every move. It indeed became a highlight of the event as the two Korean celebrities posed together and blinded the fans with their presence. Following the ending of drama, The Good Bad Mother, JTBC has shared farewell messages from each actor. Ra Mai Ran's heartfelt message to Lee Do Hyun has left fans feeling heartbroken. After the airing of the 14th episode on June 8, the drama came to an end, evoking strong emotions from viewers. However, fans now have another reason to feel sadness as it has been revealed that Lee Do Hyun will soon be enlisting for mandatory military service. Ram Mai Ran's closing remark, Lee Do Hyun, go to the military and come back soon, confirms this news, although it has not been officially confirmed by the actor or his agency at this time. Recently, Jenny officially made her acting debut in HBO's The Idols. Jenny showed up for a sum of 10 minutes during the first episode. In the music video shooting scene, Jenny, who plays a dancer and is Lily Rose Depp's close friend, made an appearance. She drew consideration by showing a significant level of provocative dance with male artists. The fans who watched the episode were divided on her performance. Some netizens said that she looked gorgeous, but the choreography scene was too explicit for her to be in and the others just appreciated seeing her on screen as an actor. According to reports, popular legal romance drama Extraordinary Attorney Wu will return for a second season with the writer being signed for continuing the story. Extraordinary Attorney Wu may soon be returning with the next season following the overwhelming response it received for the first one and none other than the original screenwriter has been roped in to give it justice. According to reports on June 9, writer Moon Ji Won has once again been signed for the story of Wu Young Wu and those around her. An official reportedly revealed that production company Ace Story and writer Moon Ji Won, who collaborated for Ina's extraordinary attorney Wu, recently signed a contract to pen the season 2. Fans have already begun expressing excitement for the possible return of Wu Young Wu. Lee Jun Ho and other cast members. While it has not been confirmed if any of the original characters will be returning for the show, avid viewers and fans think it is only right to bring them back. Meanwhile, actor Kang Tae Oh, who played the role of Lee Jun Ho, is currently completing his mandatory military service, having enlisted on September 20, 2022.